Hello everyone, no respawns here, so it is nearly New Year, and what better way to celebrate the upcoming New Year than that's right, a wall of barricadedness. That's a lame joke. Anyway, yeah, basically, so I've got these military barricade bits here. I hadn't had actually had a chance to use them yet, so I hated the wall. Those of you who remember, we had a kind of bespoke just thicker wall, I guess, that we had in Warwick Homestead originally. This, this was actually just before mods dropped for PS4, and I absolutely hated it. I mean, I liked making it, but then afterwards I was like, this looks shit, I don't like that. So I've kind of been avoiding Warwick, and then I realised they would look really, really good with these walls. Now, these barricade walls look easier than they actually are. You're going to see me, um, a lot of fuckery, basically. One, getting the same height. Also, you'll notice that there aren't any linking walls with the actual wall. So what I mean by that is there's these ones, so there's kind of an alternating version of this one with the ladder and the door, the stairs and the door. So I've got one different size. And then you've got this kind of filler one. Oh, there will be a few rugs lying around from uh, when I did my other wall. But basically, there are quite a few of the wee... There, there are no there are no drawing walls. So basically, I kind of had to be creative. Because I wanted the... Basically, the whole art theme of this summer, now that I've got these walls... And by the way, it looks really, really good. Those of you who follow me on Twitter have already seen my little wee video. Pro tip, if you want to see what I'm working on currently. Follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. Because I tweet out little wee videos of what I'm doing. Mainly so you guys know I'm actually making videos, not just, you know, picking my nose or something. So basically, the big problem I've had with this one, one, was, you see, getting them kind of straight there. Getting them the right height was a pain in the ass, and getting them straight as well. But also, because there are no adjoining walls, I had to be quite creative. But at the same time, I didn't want this to look scrappy. That was very important. Like, the rest of the one can look scrappy, but I wanted this wall to look like it was meant to look this way. In, in a way, because um, it's meant to be some kind of quite modular military wall. So it's a bit annoying that we don't have the adjoining walls. This is um in the Unlock 7 Objects mod, by the way. By the way, this me here is just playing around, so ignore what I'm doing right now. It isn't the end result. So what I end up doing is, you'll see in a minute, I put spaces in between these main... There are three main pieces, so I've got that one there, that one to my left there with the doorway, and another one at the doorway at the end. And I'm really pleased with how it looked, and it actually looked very, very crisp, but it was quite, um, quite a pain in the ass. Also, a big struggle I had with this one, because, fuck me, is the fact that... Now, Warwick is a really big build area, but I was still struggling with putting these, these things down. So, pro tip, make sure, if you're putting these in a settlement, make sure you're doing what I'm doing at Warwick right now, which is maybe doing them before anything else because for example you're going to see later on i end up having to actually remove all of the food and to get the other side on of these well like the end of the walls right right at the end there i end up having to remove that middle bit and then redoing it again because i just physically couldn't put the wall down bit of a pain in the ass i think it probably was a little bit easier than the covenant walls it's mainly the main problem i have is me dicking around here where i just changed my mind because it doesn't, it looks, oh, fucking awful. Because trying to get it straight, like, linking them up perfectly wasn't going to work. And I thought it would look a bit, kind of, lame. So what I end up landing on is popping these wee bits. And basically putting platforms in between. And then eventually, spoiler, um, is I use chain link fences. And then the, kind of, the barricade bits with the, I don't know what they're called. They're those ones, literally, to the ones to the right there. A bit too fast the ones yeah you, you'll see them it's fine them basically i use them and it looks really good and the most important thing is it looked crisp like for example obviously the obvious is that you could use this as a brotherhood of steel um building method which i highly recommend to the point where i might even do something similar when i actually finally get round to doing the airport i've actually started doing the brotherhood of steel quest because um i've been playing lots of fallout recently like actual like play playing not just building because what i mostly know is just build but i've actually been playing this save and i finally got around to doing the brotherhood of steel quests and it's always been good fun still don't really like them my railroad for life but it's been fun to do them and i'm gonna make their airport look very funky at some point i might even try and drag on how far i do their quest before i um totally don't kill them i don't actually want to kill them it's just they get all aggressive with me at a point which i'm not gonna spoil anyway so basically it looks really cool like this now a big thing, I had to cut out, what, something like 25 minutes of this video. So here we go. 
this is a part I had to cut out. Well, I had to cut out me screwing around. So as you can see, right, the problem I was having with the select all glitch is it was for some whatever reason picking up that one. This happens so often. Sometimes I have to like shove these. See, it was fine there, and I put select all, and it selects that. No reason, just just cause fuck me basically, fuck me. So I have to take that out. Now this is where it got really difficult for me, and over a longer period. Also, it didn't help is because I wanted, as you can see right there, it's going to be connected to that part right there. And it's spoiler, I, I don't do it in this video, but we're going to actually just, it's going to be chain link the other gaps. Because this isn't actually like a, this is meant to be a barricade that's actually got military personnel on it, rather than necessarily a fort. That's why it's got so many gaps in it. If you look at the Brotherhood of Steel, same kind of thing, they don't actually have a gate. It's just, you know, there are guys in power armor. So I was really struggling with this quite a bit. That, see that part there? Because there's no wall pieces. So I was okay with that corner, because I could just put that little, little bit there, you see, that links the two. And it looks fine, it looks really grand. But when I was doing this bit, bit more of a pain in the ass, little bit fucking annoying. You'll see in a minute after I, I do fuck around with this a little bit. Lots of fuckery in this one, lots of fuckery. Not as much swearing, normally I'm trying to control, I'm one of those people. This little, little thing, personal thing about me while we're fucking around here. It's one of those people that I get really like, um, I'm a kind of a, a controller smasher. To the point where I want to smash the controller. Like, I get really angry for like a split second over something really frustrating. Then I'm like, oh, <laughs> everything's fine. I'm trying to stop doing that. Because it's really, really annoying. And I shout sometimes. And building. <laughs> for, I think because I'm so used to it now. When I get something that's typically frustrating, I'm like, oh, why you got to do that? Why, why you got to be that guy? So a lot of using these walls is you just kind of fiddling around. I am, as I said, because this is, I mean, to be honest, most of them will be, but because obviously this is me trying to work around the pre-existing kind of, not only the structures, but also you know, kind of the landscape and everything like that and the space available. It is a bit headache inducing, but I'm very pleased. I get it looking quite well. So here, here, you see that bit I just removed there. That was 25 minutes of me deciding against what I was doing. They just didn't look very good. I used the same piece as the corner bit that we just did. And it didn't work for this straight part there. And those are the barricades I'm talking about. They look really cool, but you've got to kind of work them with the mesh. So firstly, I was struggling quite with getting this straight. Now, my advice, maybe don't worry too much, especially when like this. You see, the problem I've got is because this is connects to that little modular kind of building right over there that's next, that one, that prefab, like a, I don't know what they're fucking called, that thing there in the background with the little ramp. Um, because it was attaching to that, it means I couldn't get the walls perfectly straight. Because obviously I wanted this... I mean, I probably could have actually maybe gotten a bit straighter. So, and also with these ones here, it's very difficult for me to line these two pieces up and get them straight. However, I end up getting them quite straight enough. Again, I kind of worked on the reasoning in my head that these... Just remember, these are mod... You know, they were military prefabs. You know, they basically just flat pack. They're flat pack military fortifications, basically, right? And that was the reasoning I was going with this. I was like, okay, fair enough. They're not going to be perfectly straight. It's flat pack military fortifications. I like to think, in a way, my idea with this was that the, the Warwicks had actually found these. Because obviously, they're, they're, you know, these are, these are flat pack military force stations. There's so many military bases they could have dragged this stuff from and then used it to just reinforce this side of the island. Also, I don't know if I'm going to put... She's you know, actually got the gates. I don't know if I'm actually going to give them gates or not. I haven't decided. I quite like them weirdly opened if I just have them reinforced. This is going to be quite a military looking area because it's industrial vibe. I really like it, so it's going to be very, very military looking. And I'm going to have... And I finally made, made a point of paying attention. Uh, the Quonset huts. Those are those little things that look like um, hangers basically, so I keep forgetting their names, and every video I've had one of them, I've gone, um, uh, and then I've got about six people go, oh, they're Quonset huts, and then I proceed to forget what you guys said. So, Quonset huts. I'm going to have Quonset huts here, because they suit the area. I like this, it could almost be, um, those of you who have played New Vegas, and also, obviously, the, the early Fallouts as well, Fallout 2, it could almost be an NCR kind of re um, fortification, which could be quite cool. Makes me hopeful for the next Fallouts that maybe he'll have NCR in it because I quite like the NCR. They were fun. God, I seriously, this, this is. I think this was yeah about thirty minutes before I'm like, right, that that's fine. They, they look grand. Just getting these straight. 
they're a real pain in the ass, but I like to think this demonstrates just not only the methods I used, quite haphazard and just kind of like, well, I'll just give it a shot, to get them as straight as I was, to, to the point where I was okay with it, but also because... I think I know people have been having struggle with the the covenant walls. Um, I still get messages about them now, but these kind of things because they don't snap together. It's very frustrating. So here we go. That there we go. I'm ha I'm pleased with how straight that is now, and it looks pretty looks pretty cool. Now we're just gonna add kind of block up those holes and make it look rather grand. So right now, um, this is a nice little technique for getting straight walls, right? Because I wanted, obviously the walls are perfectly straight. However, what I'd done is I already measured how long it was. It needs about a four, four bits of, I'm going to use the chain link fences. So what I did is a nice little method is to just put some floors and then you just pillar glitch them next to the floors. I've done this in, those of you remember, I did this in the red rocket for a while. It's just a really good way if you want things to get straight. And these things don't snap. Um, initially, what I actually did is put them on top of the floors, but then took the floors out. Uh, that didn't work. Don't do that. Because they don't snap. I mean, they they, uh, they fall into the ground. So just do this. It's just a good way. It just makes it easier than where you can pillar glitch the entire collection of chain link fences into exactly the space that you want. And it looks pretty cool. See, it looks round. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really pleased with this. God, I fucking hate Warwick. <laughs> I like it. It's one of those supplements that I really like, but I just have no idea what to do with. And now an idea is forming. When we did that big wooden wall before, it looked cool, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't suit Warwick. I think because of the fact they had to connect to a pre-existing structure, it just wasn't working. Whereas now I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I will do some building here. Like, I'll have some dedicated building videos where we actually fill the inside with stuff, because I'm going to try and think of a bit more slightly Brotherhood of Steel themed stuff to actually make this look pretty cool. Pro tip, quick save, I left that in. The reason being is because you're gonna have it um, a little bit with, <laughs> whenever you do something like this, right, when you've got a big structure like that, can I please recommend you quick save? I've seen people just message me about how they've done shit like this, where you've got this kind of little operation where you'll say kind of select or glitching something to place. It may seem kind of common sense, but don't forget to quick save. Quick save, especially on console, it's really, really easy to do. Because if I'd fucked that up, I would have to have done all of that again. Yeah? And it's very easy. Like, you'll have it where one side just is completely off-center and something stupid like that. Also, these chain-link fence poles are a pain in the knob. They just... They won't sink into the ground properly, and I can't pillar glitch them, so... Fuck, fuck, fuck me, basically. Fuck, fuck my life, I guess. This won't bother. It's me just having a ponder, but... It's not really going to work. All right, so we're going to do this corner bit here. As you can see, it's starting to take form. The reason why as well is I'm not too bothered about... Because this is incidentally roughly where the enemy spot as well. It's just... This is more... Again, the whole theme of this summon is it's going to be a manned military inst area. Like, the Warwicks are now going to have their own little standing army, almost. So it's less about... It's about them controlling where they're being attacked rather than necessarily just blocking off all lines of attack. Um, we're all going to have lots of turrets and loads of arm to the teeth people with really powerful guns as well. Because if you're doing, those of you who don't know, obviously the enemy's level depending on where you are. So the further south you are, the higher level the enemies are going to be. So in Sanctuary, for example, it's just like basic raiders and basic gunners, if you even see gunners. Whereas here it's big ass booty bitches basically with, you know veteran level and beyond very tough enemies so it's probably a good idea for you to maybe pay attention and give your settlers one make sure they've got loads of armor on and two plasma rifles those what are they called the assault rifle things from nuka world would be a good idea what are they called barricade are they just called barricade walls oh i thought they had a fancy name i'm sure they do actually have a fancy name anyway these just thought it'd be really cool just you know Add a little bit more detail onto the side of the wee fences. See what I mean about this structure though? It looks really crisp and I'm really pleased with the the method I've used to kind of block up the holes. Because I could have, for example, put junk fences, used the steel walls, metal walls or whatever. But I like this because one, it, it fits the same colour. Like everything's very military looking, but it doesn't look scrappy. It literally looks, to me anyway, like they've picked up this modular stuff from a, an abandoned military base nearby and just kind of set it up. I'm quite pleased. I'm quite chuffed. Those are turrets and it's gonna 
It's going to look less scrappy on the wall, but I might make it allow myself to go a little bit scrappier on the inside. So here's the tour. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that. It's similar to the Covenant Walls video in a lot of ways, in the sense I'm just like, it might not be necessarily creative, but it's, I like to think, creative ways of solving something that might, that initially looks mundane. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. I will be coming back to Warwick, don't we? Now that I've got a wall alike, it's all grand. I'm also been playing the main game, as I mentioned, quite a lot, so I might finally be able to do things like Bunker Hill, which will be cool because I haven't unlocked that on this save. Anyway, I hope you guys, um, I might have a video up before New Year's Eve. I'm not too, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Um, but if I don't have a great New Year's Eve, I'm just going to be at my house getting drunk, to be honest, um, and just monging and watching Netflix because fuck going into London and New Year's Day. Say good God, never again. Anyway, because I'm old and I can't be asked. Anyway, I love you all. You enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.